What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sexy as hell host of Life Games channel. Bringing you guys Life Games fitness with my San Francisco hat. I am not a fan. I am a Miami Dolphin. But when the wife goes out and buy you gifts, you never say no. And just because she keeps getting the team wrong, you don't say no to that either. I don't care if she goes through 40 teams before she get it right and pick Miami. When the wife gives you a cheap gift, you wear it. Here's a gift that most wives love, and that is a set of abs. And I'm going to show you guys my ab routine that got me abs when I was 250 pounds. We call them ablets. That's just kind of when the abs start to show. But ladies and gentlemen, I've seen a whole lot of hoopla on the web. I hear so much crap out there about how you get your abs, and I see people making excuses for not getting their abs. So the real deal on your abs is simple as this. You are gonna have to reduce the body fat in order to see your abs. Everybody has abs. Even people that don't work out have abs. It's just how much body fat do you have covering that section? Some people have the genetics where they don't have or store their body fat around their stomach. Some people have the genetics where they don't store their body fat around other areas, but you know, the average person wants to have those abs and you can get them. You just got to work hard. You got to be in a calorie deficit. You've got to be working out and doing a great ab routine that's going to get you those rock solid abs that you want. One thing that I've learned in this whole entire game from when I started from a 21 year old fat boy to now actually having abs, abs are made in the kitchen calorie deficit, right amount of protein, right amount of fiber, increase the exercise, reduce that body fat, and you will see your abs, ladies and gentlemen. There are no secrets to this thing. I mean, unless you're one of the real housewives of Atlanta and you go and having stuff sucked out your stomach and replaced in other places, you can go that route if you want to, but it's not gonna teach you how to maintain those abs over the course of a lifetime. So. Here's the routine I did when I was 275 pounds and when I got down to about 249.5 is when I actually seen what I call an ablet. Take a look at my routine. This is it. A couple of exercises to get you where you want to be at on your abs. All of these are going to be four sets, 12 to 15 reps except for the very last part of this exercise. And right here. I'm doing a little rollout wheel after I did leg raises for my low abs. This hit pretty much every area of your abs except for the obliques. And this is really, really tough. If you've never done it, you're probably going to struggle trying to do it in the beginning. You don't have to stretch out the way I did. Here I'm doing oblique twists with this ball. And if you want to make this easier, lower your feet or you can even keep your feet on the ground. But the higher you elevate your feet, the more intense this exercise becomes. And then next, we're going to careen right into a crunch with your ball. Put your back in the, put the small of your back on that ball and crunch and just squeeze your abs as tight as you can. This is the exercise you're going to do 15 to 20 reps. And in case that went too fast for you, here's my wife doing the same thing. Leg raises with weight. You don't have to have weight if your abs aren't that condition, but you're shooting for a goal of 12 reps. Next, she's doing a rollout wheel. And if you can't roll all the way out the way she's doing, you don't have to go that far out. Just start them and your abs will build. You stick with this and you'll start to see some abs as long as you're working in the kitchen. Then she's hitting the oblique twist and you see she's got her feet nice and high. She is burning the hell out of her abs. And she's come a long way. She used to couldn't do half of this stuff, but now look at her. Then you finish it all off. Right back. On that ball, keep the small of your back on that ball and crunch, not a sit up, you're crunching. 15 to 20 on this, and you are out the gym door with a decent ab workout. Pair this with cardio. All right, that is my routine. You sequence those together and you stick with it. I did it three times a week, but keep in mind, I was on a calorie reduced diet, doing lots of cardio four times a week and hitting the weights three times a week and making sure I kept my diet very clean, meaning I kept all those high insulin spiking sugars out of my diet, and I kept high fibrous fruits and vegetables in my diet, and I kept my protein one gram per pound body weight, and that's how I got my abs. You gotta be consistent with it. 
you guys just be consistent with the whole program, the diet, the rest, the cardio and everything, and you will get abs. So hit them. You just got to hit them and stay consistent. That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself a life game. You want that coach that's going to have your back online or in person if you're in the triad area of North Carolina, hit me up. That little icon, you can catch me just like that. If you're in the Burlington area, you want to do a YouTube, try to get you motivated so you can see your form, do that whole thing, hit me up. We can do one of them just for you. Check the video description box below the video. Check out my past videos. Check out my affiliates. Check out who I do business with. See if you want to do business with them. Do business with me. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.